my clients often present in the clinic with limits in shoulder flexion. Shoulder flexion is a very complex movement that involves the humeral head spinning on the glenoid and translating. We have to figure out how to get that flexion back. There are three different ligaments that control our three different systems, corcohumeral ligament and the anterior glenohumeral capsule and posterior glenohumeral capsule. And one prevails over the others. So to get flexion back, one thing we need to do, bring them into a preposition of flexion, you place the hand, the mobilizing hand inside the axilla, and then bring them into their limit. And now what I'm going to do is preposition the joint in flexion, adduction, external rotation to tighten and emphasize coracohumeral ligament. And in that position, I'll then glide posterior, lateral, and slightly cranial in the direction of my forearm. I can work in that direction for a time, and then if I want to emphasize the posterior superior capsule, I then will bring her into flexion, adduction, internal rotation to put the coracohumeral ligament on slack, and again, glide posterior, and then if I want to emphasize anterior superior capsule, I'll bring into flexion, a slight AB, and external rotation and do the same technique. In each case, I'll oscillate and then I can hold and then ask at the end of 30 to 40 seconds as the collagen unwrinkles, ask the client to flex her shoulder against my hand. Just flex and relax. And we'll follow that up with nice exercise to try and emphasize each tissue and allow us to address each tissue and help the patient gain back maximal flexion.